Okay, now I'd like to look at a game between Vilit and Zoskobrovsky, played in Odd, Oddstead, 1907. It's a Queen's Pawn game, ECO code D00. The game started out by um, D4, D5, so Queen's Pawn opening. And then White plays an unusual second move, E3. Normally for um, White's second move, you'd see C4 or uh, knight f3, but white plays e3, uh, maybe to support the center and the free the bishop here on f1, um, but it's uh, definitely an inferior move to uh, c4 or knight f3. Black plays c5, right away striking at the center, and then um, uh, white on its third move plays c3, considering if uh, black captures the queen pawn that it will just recapture with this uh, bishop pawn or the pawn on c3. Then uh, black plays uh, e6, supporting the center, but also um, beforehand, if you don't know in this position of a back up a move, um, uh, white was threatening to capture this pawn and then if uh, black did not recapture right away, white could always play the move before supporting that captured pawn. So black plays e6. That way if uh, white captures the pawn on c5, it can recapture with the bishop. White plays bishop to d3. We see this a lot in the queen's pawn game here at... Uh, um, White puts the bishop on this diagonal where it hits this square and also supports e4 where um, there's a potential pawn push here. Black plays uh, knight to c6. Normally you'd see the knight develop to uh, the d7 where it would support um, either of the pawn moves c5 or e5. But since uh, uh, black has already played c5 here, to, uh, will, uh, the knight controls the two central squares of uh, e5 and d4. And now white plays f4. And I believe this structure is called the stone wall, um, where now white is planning on playing the knight to here and then uh, the here castling. As we saw in the last game with Pillsbury and Marco, um, White made use of this f-file. So that's uh, sort of White's long-term plans here is to uh, castle kingside, hopefully put a knight on e5 and attack the kingside with pieces. But then now black on its fifth move, uh, knight f6. Um, previously, whoops, uh, with with uh, the previous move of f4, now this e4 square cannot be controlled by a pawn. So uh, black eyes this square, which is only protected by the bishop. And uh, this this knight here does help support the two central squares right here, and would love to come into e4 if it possibly can. So now uh, white plays uh, knight to d2. This move, uh, there aren't too many good places for the knight to develop, so not only does it support uh, um, the e4 square for potential push, but uh, so also in case the knight comes here. And uh, white would love to uh, get this knight over to here and this knight possibly over to here. That way if black was to capture the knight it could just replace it with another knight. Now black plays uh, queen the c7. Um, basically uh, black plans on controlling the c file and all that has to do is open up the C file 
and they probably can control it because uh, the, this bishop here on c1 isn't going anywhere too quickly and uh, it's going to take a white some time to get the the rook over here so if uh, black can open up the c file it would be great also um, black is threatening to if it captures this d4 pawn if black I mean if white recaptures with the e pawn then the queen could just come and take snap off this pawn right here for free so another threat by black. So now um, white on its seventh move plays knight on g to f3. Like I said, this knight is headed towards e5. And now black um, decides to carry out its plan of trying to control this c file. So we'll see in this game that uh, black will win uh, by controlling the c file or having great control over the c file. So. Um, white did not do such a great job of controlling it, so uh, how does black do this? Well, it first starts off by exchanging these pawns to open up the file. So black plays c takes d4, and then uh, white is forced to recapture with the c pawn for reasons I stated or would lose the f pawn. And now black plays knight to b4, hitting this undefended uh, bishop and white doesn't really want to lose this bishop and it also wants to keep it along this diagonal here so it retreats the bishop to b1 now white really can't get uh, you know it would love to move the rook over this to c1 but it's going to have to make at least several moves to get it over there and now black plays bishop to uh, d7 as now we can see uh, Black is one move away from really having a firm grip on the C file. And white plays a3, attending to uh, get rid of the knight, telling the knight they can go somewhere else. But now black plays rook to c8. The threat is if, um, if white captures the knight, then the queen comes down and captures captures the bishop. So how should white respond? Well, let's just look at what happens if uh, white captures the knight. Like I said, the queen captures. And then it would be a total mistake for white to capture this queen. Because then the rook captures, giving check. Now the king must move the e2. Or it can go to f2, but e2 is probably better and then it gets the rook and wins the rook over here and then white will probably end up winning that pawn so not too good for white and uh, but uh, but if let's so if, let's just look at one other variation if uh, white captures a knight the queen captures like I said the queen should not capture but let's say if white just said hey I can now win this pawn here you know think about it it's a uh, rook it's it's knight for bishop right now, so it's even a, sort of an even exchange. Now this rook could always capture this pawn on a7, but then uh, the black queen captures on b2, threatening to drop the rook in and winning the queen. So white will castle, and then the queen will just come here, uh, capture on b4. So now black is up a pawn and captures with the queen to protect the the pawn on the b7 here so those are the variations if you decide to capture but uh, white did not decide the capture decided to castle protecting the bishop and now black plays bishop to b5 hitting at the rook on f1 and effectively the um the, the the rook is really forced to go to um, f e1. There is an alternative to uh, capture the knight, and the bishop captures, and the queen captures, and the queen captures, bishop the, the the rook captures on a7. We just sort of uh, go through this variation. Then the bishop bishop captures the pawn. Then probably queen captures, rook captures, king to f2. 
castles because the rook here is threatening to come to here, giving check and winning the the rook castles and then pawn captures and then probably something like this. So actually the material is almost even so that is one variation if you don't decide to move the rook that's probably the only other variation but uh, um, here white decides to play rook to e1 and I'm going to have to continue this video on the next lecture or this lecture in the next video.